Tommy Two Rings sounds like a like a old school gangster name. Like, <laughs> yeah. Tommy Tommy Two Rings is like a an old uh, book a, a bookie. Like yeah. that's who that oh, guy yeah. is. But he's like only has two fingers with two yeah. rings. Like hey, he lost you gotta his go other see fingers. you gotta go see Tommy Two Rings. Yeah, that's yeah. a hey, book you right Knock there. twice. Yeah, ring three times. Knock twice. Yeah. yeah, Tommy Two Rings will be behind the door. Exactly. And if he doesn't answer, then that's your that's your answer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Beyond the Diamond Podcast here on the Apollo Podcast Network. Brian Lima, Apollo Dez, producer Josh. We got the fellas from the two What's guys, one football up? podcast. What's up? What's your podcast name? name? Film fellas. Watch film movie. fellas. What is it? It's you know close enough, guys. Whatever. You know, right? yeah. Watch movies off the gridiron. You know, yeah. it's all it's, it's all it's, it's all on the, the site. It's all it's all on the site, man. I thought it was two guys, one football. No, dude. That's funny, but <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's a funny Only one. at ApolloHOU.com. Okay. Check it all out. ApolloHOU.com, the Apollo Podcast Network. Check us out on YouTube, all the other social medias. Plug it. A- Apollo HOU. Uh, so, boys, the Astros got their first series win. Sure did. In first the shutout. They, the they beat the Pirates two out of three. They lose on a walk-off home run by, what was his name? G. Juan Bay. Bay. Uh, yeah, for the Pirates, yeah, so and I think Chandler tweeted his walk-up song was "A Bay Bay." It was, yeah. That's, Chandler Rome tweeted that out. Yeah, well, that's solid. That's it was gonna happen. That's, that's having a fire. that's having a pulse. That's, that's, that's having your finger on the pulse. You know what that really uh, is? Yeah, wherewithal. That is that's having wherewithal. Yeah. yeah. Do we have Doctor Ball and wherewithal here? Oh, we do. We do. Oh, and we you guys do. are both patients of Doctor Ball and sure. Doctor Wherewithal. Oh, I'm not. Nice, I know Ball. I'm good. <laughs> you do know Ball. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not coming to y'all. I'm your level stated. You didn't know Ball. Professional. I'll see real professionals. I I don't know. I don't know, man. If your I, levels y'all are the y'all are the doctors that if like I don't have insurance or I'm kind of like I've worn out for my arrest or something, I will go like <laughs> under the table. I will see y'all. y'all, Cash, y'all are, like, Cash only. Like, y'all, are, y'all, Cash uh, only. Y'all, y'all are strip center. <laughs> yeah. And we don't need you to sign in. Like, don't give us any information. Like, I'll see you right now. What's up? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they got their first series win. They've got the day off today as we record this on Thursday. They open up a series tomorrow. Uh, Friday against, against your favorite the team, Arlington Rangers. Yeah, the Lone Star series is back here at Minute Maid Park. So uh, let's start with the series against the Pirates. Um, Mauricio Dubon, six game road trip, Pirates and Twins. What's going on with Dubon, man? He hit over 470. He hit 479, if I'm not mistaken. All star year. All star. Doobie, look, I'm I'm all in on it. I'm I'm part of the Doobie Brothers uh, brigade, and that was pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, that was a good spot, bro. On the spot, yeah, on the yeah, spot. Yeah, and I dude, I like he's having really good at bats. He bulked up. He's had this conversation. He's hasn't been shy about it. When they when they won the World Series, he was like, I played like shit, and this entire offseason I worked on getting better, uh, put on a lot of muscle, like. When an athlete does that, like you know they're committed. They weren't just like, you know, sitting around and and, and basking and winning World Series. He put the work in because he wasn't he didn't like what he how he played. Yeah. And look, I, we said it last episode, him and, and Molly have been the punching bag for Astros Twitter and Astros Facebook, whatever it is. But he's been giving you really good at bats. He, and his swing looks good. He's playing with confidence. Confidence on any level. I don't care if it's Pee Wee, Dizzy Dean, or the show. He's not Once you have confidence, out. yeah. It, it's you get plus five attributes like it, it's literally it, it's awesome and you you see it with Mauricio Dubon uh here are the numbers for Mauricio Dubon in the six game road trip 476 average 10 mm. hits six runs mm. three doubles two RBIs the spring of Dubon mm. he's not striking out either no he's, he's struck not out striking out I think he struck out like what so what? last I looked he had str- uh had struck out one yeah. time I don't think he struck out this entire series yeah. if I'm being honest. I don't remember him striking out Josh, can you look up Mauricio Dubon's? <laughs> Producer Josh is just crushing, a crushing a croissant Feet behind on the, the desk. Can I kick it? That was like, like the oh, most like ninety sitcom like <laughs> police officer on duty yeah, with like yeah, a yeah. cup of Joe, feet up, not doing. Doesn't anything. want to be bothered at all. <laughs> yeah, Producer Josh, sign not it, on sign camera, it. <laughs> not on camera or audio today. Look up Mauricio Dubon's stats for Have here, you, please. His, at one point, he had like over thirty at bats and only one strikeout. His his cape his his uh, baseball savant page is like a mixture of red and blue. Yeah, like he, he's not striking out. But he's like chasing at a one percent, and it's like blue. Like it makes zero sense. But I don't care. Like you need players to step up. In all seriousness, when you're missing a Jose Altuve, when you're missing a Michael Brantley, and you're getting that with Mauricio Dubon and Corey Jolks, and I think anyone in this room, and I think anyone on the internet, I think anyone watching this, 
you would be they would probably be the last few people picked if we're like who's gonna step up for Jose Altuve and Michael yeah. Brantley in this offense. And you know what? We call that found money. It's like you know that winter coat mm-hmm. you have. Oh but, shit, found twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, you, I put this in there. So, oh wow, it was already it was always there. It was always it there. Was always it was there. always there. Future me looking out for me. Yeah, yeah. there you go. You guys have winter coats. Well, you know, well, like I mean, North Face, you know. Like, oh, it's well, Houston, you know, yeah, one sometimes. day it'll get 30, next right, day, right. you know. You next know. day it's 70. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you, you find some else. money in your pocket. Yeah, I forgot about. Yeah, and I said I said it on the podcast the other the uh, the other day uh, about Corey Jokes. I thought he was going to hit his way into this lineup, and he's done that. He's hitting right. like, I think I looked this morning, and it was like 290. Yeah. He's, 293 he's putting the ball like in play. Yeah. And he's hitting Hit his first home run. Played some great defense. Yeah. And, yeah, so I thought, and again, I've said it a couple of times, and I'll say it again. So far during the season, hand up. I'll take the L on saying it should have been uh, – Dubon should have been on the bench and David Hensley should have been at second. I think a lot of people – I think yeah. most people were saying yeah. that. Clamoring yeah. for some Hensley. 98% yeah. of Astros fans, yeah. when Mauricio Dubon got the start, they were like, what the fuck? But you it, also now know like where you are. Like Dubon's your starter, so Hens like, hey, I'm, I know I'm back to the utility role. I'm giving guys, you know, days off. I'm, I could be a pinch hit. We saw him come off the bench yeah. in the ninth in the, yeah, in the game. The Astros lost. Yeah. Big hit to big set hit. up Chaz. Yeah. Obviously, the Astros end up losing that game, but that keeps them engaged. Like, hey, this is my role. I know what I'm doing. You know, like if, if I'm on the starting lineup, I know my numbers gonna be called. Like, I know I'm that first righty off the bench. Yeah. So yeah, Dubon led that inning off, and then. Hensley came up, drove her up the middle. S- yep, smoked smoked one up the middle, and then Chaz did what he did. Obviously, they lost in the walk off, but yeah, coming off the bench, getting it done in, in that role. You're comfortable, like it, right. you're, you're baseball players and any athlete. You got to be uncomfortable. You got to be comfortable in the uncomfortable. uncomfortable. But when you start, when as everything kind of like comes together on a, on a team and your roles, you're like, okay, I know that. Look, I'm not starting, but I'm that first right handed bat coming off the bench, and it's probably going to be in a high leverage spot. So um, I think that's really, really cool to start seeing kind of the lineup come together, seeing the same lineup that, you know, consistency. Yeah, consistency is. Um, it's, it's, it's big. And, and Mauricio Dubon's leading the way. I don't – is it sustainable? I don't know. But I'm having a damn good time it's, watching I mean, it. It's not sustainable. He's not hitting 350 for the whole year. What if like, he does? I mean, what if he does? What though? if he does? I mean, like, yeah, what if he does? But it's interesting because everyone was hating on Dubon. And going into the Pittsburgh series, I was just looking at, you know, Drunken and looking at number like stats one night as I do sometimes as bros do. As, yeah. I saw he was hitting three hundred four and I was like, why? Why is everyone hating on him again? We'll just see what he does the next day against the Pi- Pirates. Shitting on the baseball, shitting on the baseball, yeah. and now he's up to what three fifty? What uh, three sixty? Josh, you got his baseball reference page pulled up. What's the strikeout look like? He had one strikeout in thirty six games. <laughs> thirty six games. Okay. One winning. strikeout. Okay. Still only one. Only still one. Only I mean, one. that's not sustainable. He's going to strike out. It's a big league. He's going to strike out. Yeah. But uh, that's incredible. So, You're getting offensive mm-hmm. when you didn't think you'd, you right. were getting it. And yeah. look, you won a series. Like, you you want, you want needed to win a series. You won a series. You got the job done. And it, it was, was, it was great. We said it. Someone's going to have to step up in the absence of Altuve. And Mauricio Dubon, so far 12 games in, uh, 13 games in, because the Astros are 6-7, and seven, has been doing it. Corey mm-hmm. Jolks has been playing well Chaz McCormick at the leadoff spot has hit well he had a couple more hits last night so I think the more consistent lineup from what we've seen is going to pay off until Altuve gets back and the other guys are going to get hot right we oh, were yeah. we started to see what Breggy Breggy's look Breggy's a notoriously slow starter okay he started off slow the first 10 games now he's two two tanks hitting the ball but well and driving he, with power so what if what if he's, he's still Walking, yeah, still yeah. walking, and the umpires have not. Get, the um, I don't know. No, no. He had two what's going on night. with the what's going on with the Blues this the year? Umpires are brutal this year, but especially yeah. bad with Bregg. I, I think Bregg's and Soto have the the best eye in baseball. Like, oh yeah, they oh, them yeah. two know the zone better than anyone, and they get screwed for being too good at knowing yeah, the zone yeah. because like these like I think there was a, before the two bombs before the double and all that. Uh, there was an at bat where Bregg's end up striking out but i was like he should have walked he walked was, he walked like five times was in that two balls off the off plate. the plate yeah 
And like I'm just like this guy, like he's getting he's getting punished for being better than the umpires at their job. And, yeah. You know, every time it happens, every time it's off the play, out of the zone, he looks up and he's just like, in his eyes, he's like, "Fuck, yeah. that yeah. was so off you, this guy, <laughs> get this fucking <laughs> idiot out of here, dude." Yeah. You he know, like, who, looks mad, never says anything, never but says anything. sees the fucking seething anger in his you, eyes. You know who never says anything but finally did? Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker. Yeah. Uh, real quick before we get to Kyle Tucker. Bregman so far in 13 games, 10 walks. Incredible. Wow. Yeah. 10 walks. Yeah. 10 walks. He had five in two games yeah. in the last two games. So yeah. he's locked in. He's he's about to emerge. He's going to catch on fire. Uh, a Bray who's, in a, who's been hitting the ball and, and people on the internet are Look, upset. I, oh, what's wrong with Jose I, 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 I understand that he has not hit a home run. Okay, and the power numbers have been down. Last year, he only hit like 15 bombs. This year, we haven't seen one from him. He literally had a 10-game hitting streak. Yeah, and yeah. then he goes zero for four, and then he comes back and goes he gets a couple hits, night, yeah. and then he had a, a couple double, more hits. Had to drove the ball. Like, you know what? T- he hits two this weekend against the Rangers. I I, I just yeah. I find it funny how one we as a fan base, and I'm yeah I'm putting us all in that fan base. Oh, yeah, all right. Right. We panic as a fan base because the Astros have not started out well. Yeah. Okay. And then we see Jose Abreu, and I literally saw like. Two different tweets the other night after he went 0 for 4. Should we be concerned? Is it time to be concerned about Jose Abreu? Because about be because be concerned about what? Yeah, because yeah, the, right. the, 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 the home run numbers are down. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna worry about we, a 10 game hitting streak that does those don't happen. It, it, that it, doesn't happen. It really. would be different if the dude was hitting like a buck eighty. Yeah. Right, and striking out all the time. Yeah. 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 And look, what all Jordan has been doing is insane. Kyle Tucker, I think we've all said it, like, with, without the shift and, and all these things, he's, we're seeing what Kyle Tucker does. And, and Kyle Tucker in years past has just been – start. He's, he's a notorious April, slow starter. April, yeah, April's for Kyle Tucker, they're not good. Because like, he just find – it was just like, oh, he barrels balls right at people, yeah. and, then, and then he gets hot. Okay, you're having two guys that are actually hitting the shit out of the ball. You're going to have Abreu and Breggs get hot. You've already seen Breggs – Show the the power flashes. You have Dubon and Chaz playing very very well, and then the rest of the guys just have to hold serve. And yeah. now they hold serve. Then you have Altuve back. You have Brantley back. Now you have a deep bench because Corey Jolks is not going. He's not being sent down. No, he's on your Jake bench. Jake Myers is going to be the odd man out. I, I think, think so. I think so. we all. Yeah, I think we all agree. David Hensley is going to be on your like you. You're going to look and and you're going to be like, oh wow, this Astros team's really deep. Yes, kind of yeah. like we every, like, like, like we've been like saying it's it this been whole time. every yeah. single yeah. year yeah. because those guys that are playing now that are getting valuable at bats are now on the bench, hungry and ready to go. And you know yeah. what? Probably pushing other guys too. Like, it, and that's what makes and people don't understand this, and they have yet to understand it over the last seven years. That doesn't matter what they rank the Astros farm system, blah 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 blah. They this culture of winning breeds competition. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No one wants to be in. No one wants to be down in, in, in Sugarland. Yeah, like they want to be in the show mm-hmm. right up the road, and they're itching and clawing to get there and then stay there. So yeah. the people up there are itching and clawing not to be sent back down. And that's, it, yeah, it's coach speak. But when you're here and you're in it, you know it. That's how the the Deardens come. This yeah. is how the Jolks come. This is how the Hensleys come. Because yeah, they're not properly rated in the system. Who cares when they come up and play? They grind right. and they freaking show out, and it's. That's they take advantage sauce. of the opportunity that's that's been given to them. A hundred percent. Like that's what I, ratings and and farm system ratings, rankings, farm system numbers, all that stuff. When you get your opportunity, whether it's at single A, double A, triple A, at the big league levels, you have to make the most of it, and you'll stay. If you don't, then it's for a good reason. Corey Lee is an example. You either come up to the big leagues, and then you're not going to play every day, or let's go get you sent down because we still think you're the catcher of the future, so you're going to get everyday reps. All the reps. There you go. That part I understand. Mauricio Dubon, here's another example. He got an opportunity. Look what he's doing with it. Now he's forcing Dusty Baker to keep him in the lineup as a starting second baseman. So you talk about Michael Brantley. Dana Brown was on uh, the radio this morning talking with uh, the Sean Salisbury show. And <laughs> Plug it, dude. Why are you <laughs> shouting it out? Plug, Plug it. it. In there. Yes, with it's, Brian Lima and, and Sean Salisbury. Yeah, on so 790. Yeah, we had, on, we had on Dana Brown this morning, as we do every week on uh, the Sean Salisbury show on Sports Talk 790. Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., but I digress. <laughs> uh, or you can tell Alexa, hey, Alexa, play the free iHeartRadio app. Anyways, um, and he said Michael Brantley's going to be back early May. So that's in like yeah. a couple of weeks. Uh, okay, so, cool. and uh, I mean, when you get Michael Brantley back, uh, that's just more depth. But also you got to think about like 
I mean, when Brantley comes back, the guy's hitting 300. Like, he, yeah, rolls out of bed he can roll out of bed. Hit yeah, yeah. I mean, he's hitting 300 when he gets back. Like, I mean, so that's just that just goes to show you that after this start, there's a reason for this slow start. You had if you had Michael Brantley in this lineup, you you probably win two games out of. You know, you probably win two more games than you already did. Oh, could you imagine if Michael Brantley and Altuve were in this lineup and oh. they were still six and seven after 13 oh games? Oh, my God. Dude, the fan base would implode. <laughs> I mean, like, well, I, we would have a great You start. know the smoke that comes out when the, there's a new Pope? There would just be smoke coming out of Minute Maid Park. Dude. The <laughs> <hand>. This would <laughs> be so pissed. Dude, it would be, it would be brutal, oh. man. People would be like... Is it time for Jose Altuve to retire? <laughs> like people would be that upset. would be the the pieces on the internet. I just gosh, I, I feel like where the Ashes are, they're they're one week of being hot from being like five games over five hundred and yeah. winning the West by like yeah. a two and a half games. And and honestly, the West right now is not very good. No, no, no. I don't. think the Rangers are leading the division at seven and five. They're frauds. They're and then frauds. It, uh, look look at Seattle. Seattle's four and eight. Yeah, yeah. they're not yeah. off to a very good start. Well, I was told they were a problem. Yeah, they'll, they'll, stabilize. they'll stabilize. They'll yeah. stabilize. And and then and then you look at like around the league, the Tampa Bay Rays literally cannot lose. They're Holy twelve shit. and zero. I know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. at right right now, they're on a pace to go one hundred sixty two and zero. Wow. Math, really sure math, 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 math is math. Math is math. Math is math. Math is math. dude. Yeah, I read it. I read a tweet. I'm I'm just gonna. Say this. I read a tweet last year. I didn't realize this. After 13 games last year, we were six and seven. Oh yeah. After 13 games this year, we were six and seven. We but our numbers, our hitting numbers, are significantly better than they were. Yeah, I, I read last those. year. I read. The, did you listen to the radio show this morning? I did. I you did. did. I know I did. I'm you sorry. didn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Because I, I, I read those numbers. Oh, did you? Yeah, <laughs> I talked about. Oh those well. Numbers. I mean, well, hey, wavelength. Yeah, no, I, 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 I talked. I, I talked about those numbers. They're uh, and I'll pull them up. So yeah. Um, I, I also think the the and we can we can dive into the staff and the rotation um i put a tweet out like people were up in arms about the first week of the starting pitchers barely going five innings barely not even going a third time through the lineup and it's i I sarcastically put a tweet i was like wow it's kind of wild as the season rolls on and starters get extended that the starters go further in the games and therefore there's less pressure on the bullpen to you know, only have two leverage innings instead of five leverage innings. Right. And I think we're starting to see that. Your Kitty looked really good yesterday. Um, your Kitty needs to, uh, he's just a, he's a perfect fly ball pitcher because there's balls just hit like 500 feet in the air that everyone was just camped under yeah. yesterday at, at PNC. They're just, and, the outfield was just a circus yesterday. It was. It was like circus circus lay out yeah. there. You <laughs> know when you're like with the boys like playing jackpot in the pool, you're making <laughs> like wild catches and stuff? Yeah. That was the outfield yesterday. Yeah. They're like, oh, that's, Tug that's made a sick per- play? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make I'm, a sick play That's now. the <laughs> perfect way to describe it. Like literally playing jackpot with your boys yeah. and, and doing all those crazy-ass yeah. catches is exactly how it looked last last night and it was, or yesterday. It was awesome. Yeah. So here, here are these numbers. 2022 through through 13 games, the Astros were six and seven. This year, the Astros 13 games through their six and seven. In 2022, runs scored 44, runs allowed 52, team average of 200, team home runs 14. This season, runs scored 66, runs allowed 53, team average 256, home runs 14. So, what did that team do last year? They won the World Series. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. What is going on this year? Oh, we're fucking. We're still here, baby. Do y'all like? No, do they always do this? Like, do they just? Is this like their go-to? We've been we've been doing that quite a bit. No, they've been doing that a whole lot. Have they? they It's like y'all's go-to. Like, yeah, y'all should do a what's going on podcast or like. Yeah, dude, that should be the logo. Garrett does what's going on. Yeah, I feel like that guy whoever fucking did that would Brian Windhorst for us. Brian Windhorst, NBA insider. Yeah, probably Brian Windhorst. Yeah, right. Yeah, he did that right. Yeah, talking about Kevin Durant or something. Yeah, trademark. Oh, the he's talking about the Jazz. Yeah, yeah. What's going right. What's going on in Utah? That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the numbers are. I mean, offensively, they're a little bit better. But I can also say that's probably because of the new rules, pitch clock, all that stuff. Yeah. And but still, they're playing almost identical to what we saw last year, and they won the World Series. Now, yeah. they still don't have Altuve. They still don't have Lance McCuller. They still don't have Brantley. Yeah. I mean, so I, I'm not. I, I was a little bit concerned. I think maybe more with the. Are you guys? I'll, I'll ask this. Are you guys concerned with the bullpen at all? No. No. I mean. I feel like a piece will be added, a lefty will be added by the trade deadline. But I mean, no, this I don't. But right now, right now, no, no, I'm not. Okay, I'm, I'm not concerned about it. I would say I think I'm not. I it it could it could be we could what we've seen so far could have been better. But I don't know. I'm not too too worried about it. 
you already have a lefty, and he's in Sugarland named Matt Gage. He's pumping ninety six. Oh, that's 97. right. I forgot about Gage. Yeah, big old boy. Yeah, yeah. and he'll, he'll be up. He'll be. Up I think soon. he'll be up soon. Yeah, I mean, he'll be up soon. Uh, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, Blake Taylor just went on a rehab assignment to AAA, so yeah. he'll be up before the. Who'd you say? Matt Gage. Yeah, he'll be. I up don't know. Gage. Dana. Dana loves Matt uh, Gage. Well, really. I mean, he gauges. He gauges. We saw him in spring training, and he Dude, he's hey, got shit, man. He's he's big as that freaking doorway. Yeah, he's, he's huge, he's huge, he's and he huge pumps and does left. Yeah. He look, you know who he reminds me of? A bigger Matt Perk. Cool. That's a that's a callback <laughs> for anyone. Yeah, um, he's the only dude in my career to give me a hat trick. Dude, I mean, and it was in high school. He throws he throws from right here. Nasty. <sighs> he was nasty. Um, yeah. So I, that that Matt Gage fellow could be a, a name up soon. But are you concerned with the bullpen desk? I'm concerned that we have too many high leverage guys, and I think I said it the last episode. Mm. Who, when the Astros are losing, you can't spell a Neris, a Montero, a, a, a Stanek, a Presley. So now it just falls on Maton and Seth. So you like and also Ronel Blanco and, and Blanco yeah. as well. Like you just have all these guys that are high leverage guys. Like you don't have like a guy that can just go eat shit innings essentially. Um, well, who was that last year? Be like, be like, yeah. That's right. And because okay. we're in a six man. So, and I've, Dana on your show today talked yeah. about how the six man rotation was a catalyst for the Astros winning. Cause everyone was healthy. The bullpen didn't have a lot of innings on them. They weren't taxed. So I, I could see a shifting back to that, uh, because you have a Forrest Whitley knocking on the door. You have Lance McCullers coming yeah, back. Dana Brown talked about him this morning. He said, we're not going to hesitate to give him a shot. He said, when the rotation opens up, Whitley, it's Whitley's year, baby. Is, yeah. is it the year? Did is you not have his first two outings have been pretty nice. I mean, they've been, no, he's been, I mean, what, Dude, 97 he a, sinker. He was throwing a 97 mile an hour sinker last that's, night. I mean, that's, Jesus. that's, that's very good. A slider at like 94. I, love I, it. I, I read love that it. on paper and I get excited. <laughs> Lou now's so. last gift. Yeah. So, uh, that's so last, am I, the am I concerned? No. I'm just like, this team's so good. You just don't have a guy like when the Astros are losing to yeah. suspel the other guys. Yeah. Um, I think they'll be fine. Like, yeah, I do think they should move around the bullpen a little bit more. Like maybe for right. It's just for right now. Presley shouldn't be closing games. Wow. I've, what a bad take. I think a I think a Brayu. Stop it. I think a Bray. I think stop it. Um, Presley's fine. No, stop Presley's it. fine. I, I, I even said just for now. I mean. I'd give I just give Abreu a shot that closing games eighth well, inning closing maybe games. On a, maybe on a maybe on a night where Presley threw two nights in a row. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Abreu you know, I'll just start mixing it up a little bit because no, no, you just can't what jump ship on Presley that quick. Yeah, not jump ship. Who's jumping ship on Presley? Are you doing like an office lunch where just anyone can be? Are closer? you trolling us right now? I'm not trolling. I'm just saying. All I'm saying is why though. Why not? Why, you know? why change it though? Why? I mean, change I'm not it? not changing it. I'm just saying mix it up a little bit. But why mix it up? I mean, I'm not trying it, to be a smartass. I'm, I'm just, I'm genuinely asking why I try to mix it up. Because I mean, I think Abreu is our best bullpen pitcher, and in a closer game, like if, it, if the game's tied, I'd rather have Abreu in than Presley right now. That's all I'm saying. Ooh, Four four wow. against the Pirates, I'm get Abreu in there. So, miss situations like that, you know. So the theory, the theory with old school baseball is like, why do you bring a closer in to hold a game? Right, like, why is my closer pitching in a tied game when a closer closes? The closers don't hold, mm -hmm. which is a it's a theory that's, that's been around forever. Yeah, but in this new age of baseball, where the extra innings you get a guy at second, I am bringing my closer in yeah. to give me an opportunity to get to that tenth inning to drive that guy in and then figure it out. Yeah, I understand the the pressing thing and the sense of like, right now is he your best arm in the pin? Probably not. Brady probably is best up, but Presley is. One bullpen away from stringing six saves in a row and yeah. not, not even stress, oh, well, definitely. you know what I mean? I think last year, uh, Judge hit that walk off of a Presley, and everyone was done with Presley or at that moment. Out. They were yeah. like, Presley was arguably bum, he's bad. And it was, was that like, early in the year, or are you talking it about it? Was June, yeah, it was June, it was June, yeah. I mean, June they were like, Oh, he's bad, he's not good, and then uh, he just became was like that Mariano Rivera in the World Series. Was like, that basically. before? Didn't he, didn't he have a short stint on the IL last year for his knee or ankle? Josh, can you check that for us, I don't know please? If he did. Or was that the year prior? I think it was the year prior. With his knee, didn't yeah. he have something? His knee. He had the knee in nineteen. That's was, why we, that we had. That's why we had Will way. Harris. That's why we had nothing but Will Harris going in, in, against the Nationals. Okay, Josh, can you check his injury stuff from last year? Um, I just remember last year we had the same questions about Presley. Why is his velocity down? Yeah. And it was early. The velocity is not where it was, and I, I just. I think when it comes to a closed situation, I understand the the Bra dude. Bray is nasty. He hit one on one the other night. I, I think I he's mean, got the best stuff on the on the back end so of the bullpen. Too. 
But I just think what Pressy has done, he's been there, done that. He's had that mindset. Oh, yeah. You know, so. I mean, come playoff time, I'm, I want Presley in there, but, you know, just for now. What was it? Do you know the 10-day IL for right knee inflammation? That's what no. We're on April. Yeah, okay, that's what time. I thought. So that's why I asked if yeah. it was early because right. I remember people were like, oh, the velocity's down. And then yeah. I remember him going on the IL for a knee injury or whatever it was. And then there was an ankle. So, yeah, I mean, the game within the game, there's there's a lot of ghost IL stints. There's ways to, to help help pitchers' arms and, and, and stuff like that. I'm not worried. I mean, I, I think Friday night it could be a close game, and I'm charting out I'm charting out a Brayu Neris Montero Presley. Like I'm still yeah. I'm still sending the guys out. Um, so keep just keep keep with the same yeah, formula. Okay, you do that. Okay. Yeah, I mean like if it's like four or five blown saves, then yeah, you have to have a yeah, real conversation. Really. But um, I, I think I mean he he just hung he just hung hung a curve. Then like, you can also you probably can also make a case for who was behind the plate too. Yeah, Salazar, it's, the, yeah, the rookie. And right. I think you I think Chandler once said you could there was a he didn't shake off the rookie. Like yeah, you, yeah. you, you could shake off shake you off could shake rookie. off a rookie. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just baseball. Yeah, you had O2 on McCutcheon. Oh, yeah, uh, McCutcheon being a veteran, you know, you know smacks just sprays it up the sprays the, the, backside. The, to, lead, to lead off that inning, a little blooper right where yeah. – and another thing, like, I saw um, some some tweets come out after that ball dropped, and honestly, that's Kyle Tucker's ball the whole way. Yeah. And you're taught as an infielder to go after the baseball until your outfielder calls you off. And it fell, whatever. You can make a case because Kyle Tucker ran a little harder, dove, whatever. It is what it is. Like, I saw some people like – that's Dubon's fault. He should have never been out that far. Like, tell me you've no. never played baseball yeah. without telling me you've never played yeah. baseball. You Exactly. You know as an infielder, at any four of the infield spots, you haul ass to a baseball until you're called off by the outfielder. Yeah. There's a reason why they call those the two spots behind first and third, the Bermuda Triangle. Exactly. Like, obviously, like... You'll have a first baseman, second baseman, and the right fielder crashing. Converging, you got to communicate. The same thing, oh, shortstop, dude. third, left. Right. Um, it's just... That's what is a Bermuda Triangle. Sometimes right. the ball drops there. It's just and the ball fell yeah. and whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I think just to and we'll segue into our next. I know we got questions and yeah. answer Q yeah, and A yeah, too. Yeah. But um, I think at the end of the day, you still have to execute your pitch. Yeah, and he, it hung. He hit it out. So what? You you you, it, you chalk it up. It is what it is. You move on to the next game, and they yeah. took care of business. Got their first series win. So yeah, we got a little Q and A. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got some. Uh, you sound a real Canadian right there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. Oh, Oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah. I got I got one up here. Okay. Uh, this comes from Tommy Two Rings at T Slanted on Twitter. It says, keep cut send down. It's like fuck married kill. Keep cut send down. Hensley Dubon or Jolks. See, I think it's Myers on that one. Hang on. What is it again? It's keep cut send down. Yeah, the the yeah. Hensley Dubon Jolks. Who? Damn. <laughs> That's like I want to keep all of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well. Cut, trade, send down. Keep cut, send keep down. Keep cut, send down. A, a cut is that's that's that's, that's, that's aggressive. That's a, I guess that's, that's, a, a, that's, that's a comparison of killing, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, yeah. Damn it, dude! They're friends, rather... of, they're friends of the podcast. I know. I, know. I evoke my right to the Fifth Amendment. <laughs> I'm, I'm also not answering. That. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think. I think when everyone comes, Jake is Jake's probably down. Mm. Uh, I think that's really what's happening. Let's let's change cut to trade. Let's change cut to trade. You know, okay. it's kind of like a yeah, we no see cuts. something in you, no, but we need something else. I'm not answering it. Okay, but send down yeah. isn't bad. It just means you need a little more time. To no, I think what up. you saw with the bullpen last year and Seth Martinez going down when he was yeah. had like a two two something ERA, had a bunch of punchies, like, and he just couldn't stay up because yeah. everyone else was just better dudes, and that's what the problem with the yeah, they have so many good players. I could see, I could see Jake down. I could see Jolks down, but like I. Like I, I don't know. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's almost like who's not hot that week. Yeah, 100%. like you could be raking, and then you're not hot that week. You'd be down in Sugarland, which sucks because yeah. you deserve to be on on the roster and on that yeah. team. I feel like that question should have been uh, Myers instead of Dubon, but yeah, yeah. well, hey, but, but, yeah, Doobie, but, Doobie, brother, all star, baby. Hey, I mean, three, I'm going to he's staying up. I'm hey, going Tommy to propaganda the hell out of. Getting yeah. doobie to Seattle. We need some blue moons for the office every time you yeah, know, something happens. Just chug a blue moon. No, you know what? Better moon. than blue moon? moon Paula Moonshot. Paula Moonshot. Ooh. Paula Moonshot. What's our beer? No, what were you going to say? I was going to say, we'll just shout out to Tommy Two Rings for, for stumping you. you know, good yeah, question. that was checkmate. Yeah, checkmate. Got, got us. Tommy Two Rings, is a, <laughs> Tommy Two Rings sounds like a, like a old school gangster name. Like, <laughs> yeah. Tommy Tommy Two Rings is like a, an old uh, bo- a, a bookie. 
Like yeah. that's who that oh, guy yeah. is. He's like only has two fingers with two yeah. rings. Like hey, he lost you gotta his go other see, fingers. You got to go see Tommy two rings. Yeah, that's yeah. Sinatra's hey, bucky right knock there. twice. Yeah, ring three times. Knock twice. Yeah. yeah, Tommy two rings will be behind the door. Exactly. And if he doesn't answer, then that's your that's your answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bar. That is. A, all right. Next question. This is from uh, Jacob. You know our our, our good friend Jacob. Young Jacob. Yeah, young, young, young Jacob. Young Jacob. Young uh, Jacob. He asked, "Is Luis throwing ninety one to ninety two the first two starts concerning at all?" Are we thinking that the World Baseball Classic has anything to do with it, maybe? I love Jacob. He's phenomenal. But can we please put this World Baseball Classic <laughs> narrative to bed? No. No. I don't think it has anything to do with it. I also just think that it's early still. He's, He's what, two yeah. innings in? Or two two outings in? Yeah. He's finding it, it, it's, it's You're still... I don't even know if the, the term sh- getting stretched out is proper because you should come into spring training ready to go yeah. either way. But still, you've got to pace yourself. It's 162 games. Yeah, I, I, I think if you went to Luis and be like, "Hey, I want 95 out of you today," he'd be yeah, like, "Okay, probably fuck ramp it. it up. I'll gas it up for yeah. you." I mean, he, he, you, but, I mean, if this is playoff game tomorrow and he's pitching, you go, "Hey, 97 right now." He'll, yeah. he will throw 97. Yeah, and I think it's it. different than pl- pitching in Minnesota in the cold and pitching in Miami with your country's colors on, yeah. with the most raucous crowd you've ever been a part of. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, and they're I guess, just like yeah. I'm fucking amped. Yeah, against like, the Dominican Republic. They're human. Like, but yeah. am, am I more amped doing this podcast with you guys than me rolling out and do a blog? Fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Like, I'm gonna have a little bit yeah. more juice You're than type in a blog. You know, it's just and then also the nature of the game. It's like when Verlander used to pitch. Like in the first couple innings, he's like 92, 93, and then you look in the eighth inning, he's throwing a hundred. Yeah, a hundred pitches in. Yeah, like they know how to ramp it up. They know when to control it. They know when to. Um, tone it down, paint, paint corners and things like that. So I'm yeah. I'm okay with it. Like yeah. I'm not worried if, at all. If he starts off in April throwing 95, 96, his arm is going to be like off yeah. his body yeah. by like we, August. We'll be on a seven man <laughs> roto by yeah. July. Yeah. <laughs> so what else we got? All right, this one's come. This one comes from Chaston Miller. Uh, we kind of touched on this a minute ago, but he says, "Is the Presley train leaving the building? Velos dropped each year for the past few years, and with guys like." Stanek, Abreu, and Montero, who don't rely on off-speed, should one of those guys get a chance to close out games? I think having press. I mean, obviously, Pressy's getting older every single year, so there's going to be some metrics that drop or whatever change. I also think when you're seeing nothing but 100 from Stanek and Montero and Abreu, and then you bring in the snapdragon of, of Presley, yeah. I think it's filthy. Mm. And then you have the, the new changeup he has. Obviously, press can ramp it up a little bit, but what's, he's not he's not sitting one hundred and one like a Bray. Like, what's his spin rate? Doesn't he have like one of the I think highest it's spin probably rates? Probably one of the high, yeah. Right. So like, like, his RPMs are insane. So like, as a hitter, <clears throat> when you start seeing the 100, 101, and you're seeing the same stuff, you can probably get your timing down a little bit. And then the ninth, you're seeing something completely different. And I think that's what makes Neris such a deadly weapon too. When he comes in with that splitty, like you're giving such different looks. Um, I don't think I think that the train's still moving. Yeah, I think, we're, yeah. I think we're good. I'm not ready to move on from from uh, Ryan Press. I don't uh, even want to tweak it. Like I just, yeah. Yeah. he arguably could have been your World Series MVP last year. Yeah, easily. Yeah. yeah. Same with Brian Abreu. Yeah. I mean, he was he didn't give up a run. So I mean, I understand. Like I said to Garrett yeah. earlier, like I understand it. I get it. But no, nah, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. What else we got? Yet. Um, okay, we kind of touched on this one, but Spaceman was asking. Uh, he he wants us to talk about the bullpen looking a little questionable. I uh, we kind of touched on that little. You know we're not. Yeah, we hit on that. Yeah, yeah. We don't. And plus they've been stretched out. Yeah. Stretched out. You know what? Early in the season. Early. Too. Yeah. You know the little graphic AT and T does with all the pitches like on the like the days. Mm-hmm. That thing was filled up like a freaking well, tic tac toe board, man. That first, was like first everyone time, had twenty plus pitches. First time through the rotation, none of the starters went past five innings. Yeah. Or Keedy went four. I think standing went back to back days. I don't yeah. remember at all last year at any point standing throwing back to back days, and he had went back to back days with like twenty plus pitches. Like, yeah, it's just what happens early yeah. on. Mm-hmm. Um, I have this one. This one comes from the frog, the big big frog. H his name, frog he, he, yeah, no, he's not calling him frog. He's no. saying his name is actually the frog. The, the frog. Yeah, it's yeah. what he goes by. Okay. Um, interesting question. Like, I guess. like ribbit, ribbit frog. Yeah, like ribbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's got the emoji in his name and everything. Uh, we I've t- talked about the pitch clock a lot, but overall, will the Astros pitching be negatively affected by the pitch clock this year? 
Uh, actually, that may have been a question for press. Like press notoriously wor- works slow, and I think he mentioned yep. that he had to like speed his stuff up. So maybe that's a little some of the time of press this year. No, I think I think by May or June the guys will just be dialed. They, in. They'll be acclimated. Like I'm it. already getting acclimated to it. I'm like, yeah. oh, all right. And like they have no choice. Like, yeah. Yeah. And in baseball, if you're not adapting and adjusting, then you're not going to be successful. Yeah. So hey, Billy Bean, adapter, adapter die. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. That's, that's, that was really good. The, that's why you that get was, the fucking movie yeah. guys on talk about movies. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> get shit like that. Yeah, yeah that was good that stuff. That was really man. good clap. Can't wait for the next two guys, one football podcast. <laughs> yeah. um, we got any more? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, RJ on Twitter said, where's the where's the Dubon statue going to go? Texas <laughs> Avenue. Yeah. Yep. I'll build it myself. Yeah. Texas Are we already Avenue. building him a statue? I might. Oh, yeah. yeah. For the I mean, all-star propaganda, I will. Yeah. Here's the deal. The shoes that he's filling in for until June or July... They're humongous. They're humongous in this franchise, this organization, the face of it. He's filling in, and he's facing the heat. He's facing all the bullets because he's not Altuve. Everyone is going to be saying, he's not Altuve. I don't want him. I want Hensley. I want the six foot seven fucking giant mountain man instead of him. Took that personally. Went to war at, against Pittsburgh. Not went to war. <laughs> he, he, he was in a, say that, no, he was in a uh, baseball. He <laughs> You're was going to offend people. You know, he, he, played, he played great. You played great. So <laughs> he deserves a lot of flowers. Maybe not a statue yet. He deserves a lot of flowers, though. Guys, if they started building a fucking Mauricio Dubon statue. It should be with a blue moon. We should probably, I love him. We should probably talk to someone about it and be like, guys, guys, guys. No, this is, this is I'm moment. building it, dude. Yeah, that's no. perfect. Listen, why, what, why, dude? What is, what's, what's the infatuation with blue moon? Oh, oh look, you haven't seen the, the picture of him in San Francisco? Oh, he's oh that is a blue moon. Yeah, he's with a the big blue moon guy. Okay, yeah. okay. In the locker room right after yeah, the game. Yeah, well, he's a big beer guy because we don't get free pub on this this, yeah. this yeah. program. That's right. He's a big Apollo, Apollo Moonshot moon IPA. Yeah. 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 It's a, an Apollo Moonshot IPA. Houston style IPA. Yeah. 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 We, should, yeah. we, should, we should somehow get in there, put a can in front of every locker, put two cans in front of the bond. He's a big beer guy. Why don't we just have him on? Just bring him on. Doobie. Get hella Doobie. Blue Doobie Brothers. Doobie. So we're going to end it with what, Des? What was that again? This year, predictions, thoughts, Arlington coming into town, Battle of Texas. Uh, I think the first time Arlington fans can see two World Series trophies. Yeah. In one yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. Uh, they lost back-to-back World yes. Series. Yeah, they sure did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That sucks, dude. Wow. Fucking idiots. But if Losers. they go, if they if they want to, like, they can go to the stadium, mm-hmm. take, take some photos with the, yeah. the trophies. Yeah, yeah. They can. Yeah. Um, Lone Star be, Series yeah. back. Star Series. And the boots here, right? The yes. boots, I don't know. It yeah. probably has dust on it. It's been here forever. Correct, yeah. That's right. What's your yeah. predictions? And uh... I say we win two, probably drop one. I think Bregg, Breggy gets another bomb. And I think you're right about Abreu. I think he doesn't. I don't. You said he, he's going to hit, hit two. two. I think he hits one. I think he hits one, shuts everybody up for a little bit. Yeah. Um, I think we're, you know, we're kind of rolling. Uh, from a, Aside from that walk-off. We're start, we're starting to roll. I mean, we're rolling yesterday. I think we win this series two to one. I think that's good because, I mean, take Rangers offense pretty sneaky, man. And I don't know who. Yeah, I was about that. I was looking. Yeah, I, was about to say, I don't know what the off. pitch. I don't know what the pitching uh, matchups are Ooh. this weekend. Martin Perez. Mm-hmm. I mean, we Cook we kind we kind of own him. You yeah. know, but whatever. I, I, you know. Kind of shoves. But if I was gonna say if Degrom was pitching against us, he'd probably you know he'd oh. hang up eleven on our heads. But <laughs> yeah. uh, no, we win the series two one. Um, we drop like a weird like you know it's like we go up two zero and then they tie it up in the eighth and they kind of like hit it you know in extras you know something like that. But yeah. weird loss two one. We win the series. Uh, I think the Astros take two out of three. I think Chaz continues to hit well in the leadoff spot. I think Dubon continues to play well. Yeah. I think Tucker will hit a bomb. I think Jordan will hit a bomb, and I do also think that Jose Abreu will hit his first home run. We got Martin Perez versus Luis Garcia, Mr. Gray versus Hunter Brown, and then ending up with Henny versus Valdez. Mm. So I also think Hunter Brown has like his best performance of his career so far this weekend. Ooh, Ooh. Yeah. I mean he, he, he just went to go. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I mean him going. Hey, him going uh, seven against the Minnesota is huge. We huge we win Friday. Forward. We win Friday. We sweep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, Friday's the game where. I don't know how Martin Perez has turned the, the, the clock back, but he's nasty. Uh, if you win Friday, it's a sweep. Oh, I'll tell you what, a sweep would, a sweep would, would change great. a lot of people's minds about a lot of people, a lot, a lot of things. So, yeah, a sweep would be amazing. And our good friend George Springer comes into town right after that. Nice. Woo-hoo. That's going to do it. Josh, come take us out. Come take us out. Come here. Come, come here, Bubby. Yeah, come here, right here.
Here, let me okay. just, oh, there right. you go. Thank you for watching Beyond the Diamond podcast. The Astros are about to sweep the Rangers. Wow. Ooh, nice. wow. And be in first place after this weekend. Wow. Thank you for watching and listening. We have Brian, Josh, Dez, Toodle D and Toodle Dumb over there. Mm. We will see you next time. Wow. You guys love football. Great. <laughs> love you guys. Watch baseball. Do I get to be D? <laughs> <laughs>